Ooh. I am. It was the 4th of July. Yeah. I probably should have made a 4th of July video, but I was busy basking in the glory of the Twilight Zone and the fact that Sarah Palin resigned the day before. Yeah, I wondered originally what was going through her mind, but then I'm like, nothing. So she she resigned and it was I was like does she think no one will notice I'm like the way that it happened was so sudden it was like an episode of I didn't know I was pregnant the look on her face she was like I, yeah I'm calling it a wrap I'm resigning and no one understands right now don't even worry about it and I'm like is she doing this because tomorrow's the 4th of July and Michael Jackson's dead, and nobody knows what's going on, and this McNair nigga's been ca been killed, and everybody's just gonna, like, like, this shit's, just, like, nobody's gonna notice. Niggas gonna be like, yeah, Sarah Palin, that bitch gone. <laughs> Where'd she go? I don't know. She fell out the boat when she was fishing. Fuck it. So she comes on the next day. She gives her little press conference, and it's so appropriately done. It, it just... I was amazed. It was her with this little ass podium in front of the river. I guess the river that she sees Russia over. I don't know. So she's like standing there and she starts to uh, attempt to explain herself and then stops. And she gives this statement, which might be the only statement that I've ever heard come out of her mouth that actually makes sense. And granted, it really wasn't hers. She, she got it from her parents' magnet off of a refrigerator or something. She's like, yeah, don't explain. Your friends don't need it, and your enemies won't believe you anyway. And I'm like, you know what? That, that makes sense. It doesn't pertain to anything going on right now, but that's the only thing that makes sense. So she resigns. And then they interview the person taking her place, who doesn't sound that bright either. So I tell everyone, and they're like, what is she going to do? I'm like, she going to run for mayor in New York City. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. But nobody wants to vote for Bloomberg again anyway. So I'm like, she can give it a go. I see that the Republicans, 75% of them in a poll said that they would vote for her. Who they were asking, I don't know. I mean, I don't know too many Republicans. But the three that I do say they wouldn't vote for her. So I'm like, yo, 75% of y'all somewhere are. Who she running against, I don't know. Looks like Snuffleupagus got some fucking heated competition. <laughs> fucking president of Sesame Street, maybe. And then they, they showed her fishing. And it just seemed really peaceful. I don't, she looked at home in the water. She really does. <laughs> she should just become a fisherman. If she try, yo, if, and if you've seen her in the running magazine, she was in an issue of running talking about how she could beat Barack Obama running, which makes no sense. I'm like, you can't beat Barack Obama running in any type of form. You can't beat him running in, a, you know, in, a, in an election or on the ground. So please, just chill with the, with the, with the analogies. My mama called Sarah Palin the black man's dream. I'm still not sure why. I thought I knew why for a minute, but then I just lost it, and I'm like, I don't know what you mean. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know what she means. At first, I thought it was like a dumb white woman with some money, and I'm like, yeah. But then I'm like, wait, no, never mind. I don't know. I got no clue. But either way... That was 4th of July weekend for me. Bad fireworks off the porch. Someone almost getting their car keys. Their, their keys, you know, thrown in the river. Someone almost getting their car keyed up. And Sarah Palin calling it a wrap.